I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. Weren't you supposed to be somewhere? Yeah. All right. Where'd you agree to meet? By the Huntsman's Cottage. Wolfman always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace, a kid for trouble, good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me. Gun cold. Hey! Bloody hell! Ow! Blowing ear pits! Help me! Winds howling. To think the nag would know me after all these years. They're smart, grow attached, a bit like people. Saw officers weep for their fallen mounts, though wailing women and crying babes didn't move them one bit. Glad to see the horse is in good hands. The best. His owners. Do you miss me, Golden? Huh? Do you miss me? I'd say he did. Bolted off soon as he sensed you. Toppled anyone in his way. Um, do you mark anyone calling after him? Plowing in armpits or some such. But one man here curses so odd, my neighbor, Mirko. Gave him Golden to care for when I left. Or to go see him, must be worried. Here. Token of my appreciation for running after Golden to see you is all right. Mark up the trees again. A hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round visit us this eventide. Verka's baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if. As you will. You're always welcome. Oh. <clears throat> Take it easy. She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. 
We'll head east soon as the snow melts. I think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Are you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup then. Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Mm. there. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? <laughs> You'll see. I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No. We'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. An old witch's trick for tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Pelagarcy. What? 
tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Huh. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <sighs> it's cold. never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> huh? Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Cairn Morhen. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage. Yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How can I forget? Those months at Cairn Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long. Argued, really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. I've traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Kermorhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. <laughs> True. Remember what I taught you. Never know. Could be useful there too.